Hi guys, welcome again to the flagship. We are making a video about ALCI. I just made a video online, a educational version, so it's a longer version. I think there is also the need for the short version. And um, yeah, if, if you don't get it, of course, go first and have a look at um, the version that's a little bit longer. So that's all on Arclonix ISO dot com and ALCI. First we navigate through you with this text up here and the installer the text to how to get started with ALCI. It's this one that we've just uh, went through all the way in all the details. But let's now go for a fast installation. How fast can it be and what do I do to test the system basically? So control C Go to the desktop, open a terminal, control shift V, enter. Close it when it's there, go in there. Then the packages. I have packages that I would like to test out. The packages are somewhere. They are, this is the package list that's used, that's the pacman.conf that's used. I need to compare the packages with the original packages, no extra pack, uh, no this one, example, these, there are only two of these guys. And what I'm going to do is a melt, a compare. And on my ISO that I'm going to build for me, I do a click here. Xorg uh, server and Xorg apps will be included. Lightium will be included. Network manager, love it, going to be included. Base develop, interesting, interesting for, um, well, making packages. Sometimes you need the elements that are in there. So we're always building, so base devel is a sure thing. XFC4 and goodies, so I'm not gonna type cinema, I'm not gonna type mate or plasma and so on and so on, because then it will be another ISO. I wanna have an XFCE, ALCI, XFCE basically. Since I am Arch Linux, I wanna have my Arch Linux mirror list, my Arch Linux key ring, and as a test, I'm gonna try out if the wallpapers can be installed. If the wallpapers can ins be installed, the ring is working, he, he knows it's signed and he knows where it is. I can get all the under 50 as well. Then we've uh, added Celtic mirror list to the possibilities. It's on our AOR, it's on our repo, sorry. So it's gonna come in. And as a way of testing, I just took the smallest file I could have found. Don't know what is this. Uh, you will know surely better than I. It's a file, and if that file is going to be included, then I know that the mirror list, he knows where it is, and he knows how it's signed, and it's gonna work. So this is my test file. If all that works, I have a system that just is super. So the, pack the, the packages have been now actually just copy pasted, right? They did it the long way. Normally do control A, control C, and control V, done. Eh? But I've shown you the power of melt is important. Pacman.conf. If you want packages from Arclonix, if you want packages from Chaotic, you need to tell Pacman. So up here is Arclonix Chaotic Pacman.conf. I'm going to compare. And I say, oh yeah, Arclonix repos in. And down here, Chaotic in. Save. Control A, Control C, Control V. This one is cool. This one is okay. But the future, this is this is how to build it. So these things is how to build it. The future system, let me do a Control C already. I'm going to copy paste pacman.com. On my future system, maybe I would like to have also the servers from Celtic and from Marklinx. And not, they're not included by, by default because the idea is as usual, is, is still the same. Have a uh, as close as possible ISO for Arch Linux. But of course we think ahead, we say, nah, I want to get my stuff from Arch Linux or I want get, to get my stuff from Chaotic or I want to get my stuff from other unofficial user repositories. There's a lot out there that's pre-packaged for you. But again, be aware that, like always, uh, in any operating system, where you download from, do you trust that particular person? 
right? It's always, but AOR is like that. AOR is not controlled, is not checked. We hope everybody is responsible enough, all right? So that's that, it's time to build. This is the short video, five minutes of talk. Okay, I go not faster <laughs> without talking. And then of course we go back to the installation script. I've done already a build, which means my uh, my folder is filled with all the packages, so I can do a 40. So I don't have to waste time waiting for the download. And as you maybe have heard in the other video, at this particular moment in time, I'm not happy with my download speed. <laughs> but here it is. It's already downloaded. It's gonna get these packages. Oh, what did I do? Uh, I did a clean. We need to download. <laughs> I cleaned it out. So what are we talking about? Maybe you don't know. Uh, computer, file system, user, oops, var, cache, Pac-Man, where are you? Pac-Man packages. So take a look at the number 704. Uh, it's finished. 704, you see? Otherwise you would have seen all the packages come in. So that's the place where it caches everything. So if you run number 40, it's just gonna keep using that. If you run 30, it's gonna clean that out. And you have to redownload everything. That's when you do, if you get errors or anything like it, you get better, proper, good packages in. And we're building, we're building our own machine. So this is what I've been doing all these days, using that particular configuration. Pac-Man, oh yeah, for, for the guys who want to learn more, uh, I can show you. Here's the build. So this is my future system. This is what he's building. So I can check, is my pacman.conf in here the one I want? With Arclinux, with Chaotic. This is my future system. Anything you don't like is here you need to be. pacman.conf, here is Arclinux, yay! And down there is Chaotic. So, they, I give you always some explanation here. You need to remember to add the packages to packages x86, x64. So yeah, it's all documented. And if if still you say, oh my God, still what is this? So there's the educational version, but uh, also take a look. We've put a lot of effort in the README. And the README is not so nice here as it is here, much nicer. All right, so go look, have a look, okay. Go over it, we have to wait anyway for the build to finish. File system, and if it stops building, I stop talking. <laughs> Arch Linux Calamari installer, okay. Read Arch ISO readme, fine, go, 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 go. Here is everything. By the way, the, the video is finished and the, the, this is the, the quick installation in five minutes time top. You have your ISO. We're just filling time now, but please read it. Um, lots of information about it and the keys and key mirrors. So if you want to have uh, a vanilla Arch Linux, of course we are Arch Linux. Our keys are in there. So if you really want to have six keys less, then you have a vanilla Arch Linux because basically this is vanilla Arch Linux except the six keys. So the init service, there it is, the little line about Arch ISO. If you're never going to install Arch Linux packages ever. All right, so read, read, read the build process. If you're an Arch Linux, you have to be sure, well, you have to have everything except keys. It's all about keys and knowing where things are. It's either on the AOR or it's on the, the GitHub. I hope this is clear to any and all. And this is our link here. After installation, we're going to enable one of them, LightDM, GDM, SDM update the databases or immediately update everything and tips for the Arch Linux guys so if you're really on Arch Linux 
you don't have any repos of article links, which means no keys, no mirrors, and that's explained there. And some tips, tip, 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 tip. All right, almost finished. Let's uh, just do it all in one video. Super F7. And then you start them. And then we boot up. I think it's time to eat. I hear some sounds. Maybe hear them too. Full time. So, ALCI Arch Linux Calamaris installer. This is communicating with a Plasma server. It's a Plasma server response. You get it, um, you get this. If not, after 60 seconds, it stops. So he knows now I'm living in Brussels. Cool. Spyware. Not just joking, of course. Probably somebody gonna take me li literal. No, I'm a joking guy. So if I respond on Discord and Telegram, I'm often joking. Don't take it the wrong way. Voila. And off it goes. Maybe this is the time to pause. And that's just installing. We went through the motions, encrypted as possible, any hope of partitions are possible, extra swap partitions with Windows, etc. It's all possible. It's Calamaris, it's great, it's free. And it's all explained on articlelinks.com. 30, 40 tutorials about all the possibilities Calamaris can provide for free. All right, waiting for the boot. All right, let's go and have a look at our creation. What did we create? It is what it is. This is creative, right? It feels like we're it's Linux from scratch, basically. Got a base, put something on there, Nixorg, and then LightM, and then XFC or Mate or anything like it, right? It's building up. So you have to enable your system CTL SDM or LightM in my case, enable Eric, LightM, and that's it. That's basically it. Sudo reboot SR does not exist. Aliases are not there. Keyboard shortcuts are not there. The configurations are not there. Sudo reboot, we are on Arch. But we got a beautiful system up and running in no time. XFE, greet me. Of course not. There you go. Awesome, right? This is great. We've got ourselves a system in no time. How much? Vi the video took 13 minutes. I mean, I talked more or less all the time. Okay, you will pause a little bit. Anyway, you want to show off. I have done NeoFetch. I've done ScreenFetch. I haven't shown, shown LC. Is LC available? Yeah. If I do a pseudo pacman minus SY. This is all normal, right? Pacman needs to know where are the packages. You never press this. Databases are coming in. Yeah, my internet is not good. I thought it was down even. Okay, <laughs> it's back up. <laughs> so, important for you to know, I see Article Links repos. I see chaotic AOR, right? The pacman.conf that we created is there. I can just install anything. Yeah, sure. Minus S. Ooh, minus S and then something for Article Links. Well, the repos, uh, the wallpapers are already there. I can get more wallpapers in, for example. Just to show you guys, I have all these possibilities. Alex Qt Dual. Those are dual uh, wallpapers for my dual screen. Internet. Okay. This is very slow internet. Oh my god. Normally 40, 50. 2.5 and halting. Anyway, you know, this is great. And the all C thing, let's do that. Is that possible? So the Pac-Man minus S all C. Now to stop this guy, there can be only one guy. Ah, it's there. <laughs> Yay. It is on the arch. Oh no, I need to re import stuff. That's always an issue, importing keys. 
So whatever, close window. Zillow Pac-Man minus S Neo Fetch. Voila, Neo Fetch just works. Keys are in order. Bomb. That's what you want to show people, right? I'm on Arch. Alright guys, have fun building ISOs you love. Cheers.